Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Avengers Infinity War. So, I'm back again with another Avengers video. I have to thank you guys for the support on my recent three Avengers videos. They've done pretty well, a lot better than I expected them to do. And I have quite a few videos lined up that I want to talk about. And going back and looking at the trailers after I finish watching the film and, you know, some of the concept art and stuff like that that I saw earlier on prior to actually going to the film I realized there is a lot that we actually miss and I wanted to make a video specific to the Hulk considering this was a big question that fans had when they came out of the film why wasn't the Hulk heavily featured why was he only in the first scene really so I wanted to make a video on this and that's what we're doing so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Marvel videos in the future so as per usual Marvel included lots of trailer shots that wasn't included in the final cut of the film but I wanted to specifically talk about the Hulk so if we go through the scenes one by one as to the deleted Hulk scenes from the trailers and from the concept art so the first scene that was actually deleted from the film was this Hulk scene with Bruce actually holding the Hulk buster and he seems to be making some sort of changes to the device so prior to the big battle and I think in the film as far as I can recall we only see them as they start walking out and then the Hulk buster trips over and that's about it and we don't get this scene before and it seems like he's next to War Machine or someone like that and there was another deleted scene with War Machine, Black Widow and also Bruce and so it seems to be that there were quite a few deleted scenes between Bruce and Black Widow considering there was some talks about them having some really really deep scenes in the film and we didn't really get anything like that in the film so I'm guessing those were deleted as well but we didn't get footage for that and so the big trailer shot that was missing which was essentially the biggest money shot of all the trailers apart from Thanos was this shot and we get to see Hulk in the background and this shot was not included in the film and not any time type of form of this was actually included it's actually in the forest it's not even on the field so you know this was a total trailer shot and the Hulk's in it and we know the Hulk actually doesn't come out he struggles to get out of Bruce because he's afraid it seems to be and so the only proper Hulk scene we actually got was at the start of the film and also if we go back to Wakanda there was actually some promo art that was released prior to the film with Hulk actually bursting out of the Hulk Buster. The most notable one is the Funko Pop that was released at GameStop in America and I think you can still get this but it's totally misleading because this actually never happened. I think they intended on it probably happening in one version of the film and then you know as filmmakers actually go through the process they actually cut out pieces of footage and actually put them on the drawing board and bring new ideas into it and do whatever they think is best so maybe this didn't work in this scenario maybe they want to save Hulk for Avengers 4 a lot more I reckon he will come out a bit more then so I'm not the biggest fan of Hulk I'm a bigger fan of Bruce so I was happy but then like a lot of people have been kind of upset that there wasn't that much Hulk but overall I wasn't too bothered with the little amount of Hulk that we got in the film considering that there were so many characters to cover and I think it was easier just to cover Bruce and in the next film we can actually explore the relationship between Bruce and Hulk and I think they'll be a lot better than what we would have got. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.